Hello friends. Today we are doing class 6 PC Rens Grammar lesson 2 nouns. Let's begin. What is noun? Now everything has name. The objects which are in this world, the people who are in this world, they have their name. The places where you go, they also have their name. you have your name your father has his name your mother has her name your brother or sister have their names so everything in this world have his or her name the object on which you do your work you keep your registers books notebooks to do your work that is called a table so that way your object also has table everything in this world has its name now what is the definition of noun A noun is the name of a person, animal, place, thing, or any feeling. That is called a noun. I repeat, a noun is the name of a person, animal, place, thing, or any feeling. Now, kinds of nouns. There are five kinds of nouns, but in your syllabus there are only four kinds of nouns. Those are common proper abstract collective noun now after this i'm going to describe each and every noun one by one let's begin with very first number 1 is proper noun let's begin with the definition of proper noun what is it a proper noun is the special name of a particular person or place as hari abdul rama sita shireen mumbai kolkata london etc if i say hari made 20 runs when i say hari made 20 runs i am speaking about one particular boy of that name hari is the name of one particular boy hari is his own special name and is therefore called a proper noun now what is the meaning of proper proper means one's own note this thing that a proper noun always begins with a capital letter the name boy may be given to any and every boy okay now hari abdul the, these are the names of boys rama sita shireen these are the names of girls but if these names are taken particularly properly then these are proper nouns now next common noun let's see the definition of common noun a common noun is a name given in common to every person or thing of the same class or kind as man women boy girl cow horse town country book desk etc the name boy may be given to any and every boy to hari abdul Saurabh, Jack, etc. It doesn't belong specially to any one particular boy. It is a name common to all boys. It is therefore called a common noun. Now, next is abstract noun. What is an abstract noun? And its definition is. an abstract noun is the name of something that we can only think of as sweetness weakness pity hope doubt greed childhood misery honesty death etc if i say the boy showed great courage we can see the sun we can touch a book but 
we can't see or touch courage it is the name of something courage is the name of something that we can only think of such a name is called an abstract noun next collective noun what is collective noun and the definition of collective noun is a collective noun is the name of a number of people or things considered as one as herd flock crowd team army etc now here when a noun is the name of a number or collection of persons or things considered as one such as class army crowd flock it is called a collective noun the word flock is a collective noun because it is the name given to a collection of sheep or goats the word crowd is a collective noun because it is the name given to a collection of people so this is collective noun now let's move to the next one next topic that is countable nouns what are countable nouns countable nouns are the names of things which we can count for example book pen computer apple flower etc these are the things which can easily be counted so these are known as countable nouns or in other words if i say when we get the answer of how many then those when when we get the answer in how many answer of how many question then those words those nouns are known as countable nouns next uncountable nouns what is uncountable noun uncountable nouns are the name of things which we cannot count for example milk rice petrol electricity gold honesty friendship etc here i would like to describe one thing that we cannot say one milk two milks five milks and so on uncountable nouns do not have plural forms abstract nouns and names of substances are uncountable in most of the cases now homework homework for the lecture which i just explained solve exercises 1 to 5 of lesson 2 that is nouns in pc rens grammar book and do the given question the question which i'll give you right now in rough notebook on the basis of the explanation which i just gave is money countable noun or uncountable noun write with explanation with examples also how can you say whether it is countable or uncountable noun now here we will discuss the homework solution of the poem which we did yesterday means in the last lecture that is a house a home i assigned you homework let us discuss that the solution of that homework okay make sure that you have made your format in neat and clean handwriting and your correction work column has been drawn by you at your right hand side let's begin by writing heading new words in black ink number 1 yard what is yard the ground surrounding a house number 2 eaves what is what is the meaning of eaves 
the lower border of a roof that overhangs the wall eaves is generally used in plural form only number 3 chimneys a part of a building through which smoke rises into the outside air number 4 stucco a type of plaster used for decoration of walls or we can say pop that is plaster of paris you might have seen that the ceilings of some uh, of some houses are decorated with pop that is plaster of paris and that is called stucco in other words now let's begin our work with question you can write heading either question answers or let's answer the questions only in black ink now question question is what is a house made of answer a house is made of bricks stones wood glass cement etc i repeat a house is made of bricks stones wood glass cement etc now question number 2 what is a home a home is a place where all the loving members of a family live together means if all the members of a family live together in a house then a house can be converted into a home next question who makes a home brothers sisters fathers and mothers make a home means if they all live together in a house if they love care and share their things their thoughts their ideas with each other then a house can be converted into a home question number 4 what type of acts are done in a home answer love care kindly sharing and unselfish acts are done in a home of course when all the members of a family will live together under a roof they will love each other they will have feelings for each other they will care for each other and of course they will share their things their thoughts with each other and as your mom and your dad do unselfish acts for you okay the things these things are these acts are being done by them then we can say love care kindly sharing and unselfish acts are done in a home now next is question number 5 what is the difference between a house and a home this was the question which i gave you in last day's class and i asked you to write the same answer write this answer in your rough notebook by drawing a line in between at one side you were supposed to write house and on the other side you were supposed to write home now let us see what is a house what is the difference between a house and a home a house is a structure of bricks cement stones stucco chimneys etc this is only a structure no family member lives here but in a home what is a home a home is made of loving and caring members of a family when they live together they love each other they care they do unselfish acts and many more things for one another but a house is just a structure in which no feelings for anyone is there so home is a loving family 
home is a structure in which a loving family lives under a roof and they care for each other they love each other that is called a home i hope you understood the difference between a house and a home and i hope you would try to make a house a home wherever you go wherever you live thank you so much children